Hi everyone, I'm Jamie Vaughn with CCM and Singing News, and I am here today with special guest Jackie Patillo. Jackie is the Executive Director and President of the Gospel Music Association, and she's also the Executive Director of the Dove Awards. Now you may not know about Jackie, but she's been super influential in the Christian music world, helping launch or push careers to the next level of some artists such as Natalie Grant, Kirk Franklin, Donnie McClurkin, Phillips Craig and Dean, Sierra Marvin Sapp, the list goes on and on and on. Jackie, we are so excited to have you here today to talk about Doves 2020 and Carry the Change theme. How are you? I'm great, Jamie. How are you? I'm, I'm here at the TBN studios. Now we're editing the Doves this week. So excited. And, um, so I'm glad to be with you. Oh, good. Well, we're really glad you're here. So you're coming off of last year, huge celebration of the 50th anniversary, and we were going to, you know, blaze into the 51st awards, and all of a sudden, the whole world stopped. And people may, and people may not realize, but GMA is a small organization. The small team has worked together to reinvent how the Doves are going to be aired this year. Can you talk to us a little bit about the changes that are happening? Yes, yes, I am very proud of our team. Um, for a matter of fact, I called um, Paul Wright, who had been the producer of our pre-tell show, mm -hmm. and asked him if he had any ideas. Because, you know, up until June, we were kind of holding out hope right. that by October, we would be able to gather. Right. And so once June came and went, and it looked like we were still uh, in pandemic mode, um, we had to um, pivot. Mm -hmm. And so Paul, uh, who has been a producer, a music producer, as well as a film producer, um, brought us this idea to take a cinematic approach to the Devil Wars and to really do the job of storytelling this year. So not only will we be bringing you wonderful live performances of your favorite songs and amazing collaborations, but um, we'll be doing interviews with our artists and, and really trading in some of our usual glitz and glamour mm -hmm. and going a little bit deeper into um, the message and the impact that our music is having on the world today. I love that idea, especially as Christians. We have a little bit higher responsibility and calling to what the music that we bring to the world is about. So I greatly appreciate that. and Thank you for doing that. Are there going to be hosts this year or is it kind of going to be as just a big, huge story that goes from start to finish? There are no hosts this year, okay. but there are going to be several great stories that we we'll get to tell. And, um, and like I said, uh, just unique performances that you've never seen before. Yeah. And um, so it's, it's going to be different, but it's going to be great. There's no audience. There's no arena, no red carpet, but um, we are using this opportunity to um, just spread the gospel through music, which is our ultimate responsibility and mission here at the GMA. So, with there not being host, but there are going to be live performances. Are they actually going to be live in that moment or it's something that you're pre-taping and kind of putting all together? We've pre-taped them a couple okay. of weeks ago and we've pre-taped interviews. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I said, our creative producers, Paul Wright, and our director's name is Danelle Phipps. And Curtis Stoneberger, who has been with us for years, um, we've come together and it's, it's a, a kind of like patchwork, but it's patchwork with a purpose. Yeah. And, a, and we're pulling a, these segments together to tell a great story. And which we're really, really excited to see the change and it's going to be on TBN, but you have a theme this year called Carry the Change. What yeah. is the the thought process behind that for GMA? Whew, well, as you know, 2020 has um, caused us all to have to pause in many ways, professionally, personally. Um, not only have we uh, learned how to quarantine, we've never quarantined before, mm -hmm. um, but we saw, we've also faced some very unpleasant social injustices that um, 
you know, we've had to take a look at. Mm -hmm. And as believers, we want to be the change. We want to carry the change. We don't want to go back to business as usual or to things as they once were. But there are silver linings that the season has brought about. And there are truths that we've learned. Mm -hmm. And so we want to carry the change. So what change are you hoping to carry into 2021? That's a great question. Well, one of them obviously is um, I want to care for those around me like never before. I don't want to take for granted um, my family. I don't want to take for granted um, all the gifts of God and the good things of God that, that he has surrounded me with. So this year has definitely been a lot of self-reflection for me. But also, I think as an organization, we're carrying the change of unity. We've always had um, the mission to unite uh, at the very forefront of what we do. The Devil Wards is the only stage that you will see all manners and styles of Christian and gospel music come together once a year. But we're going to be more intentional. Um, and, and we're going to talk more about that uh, than we have in the past. Wow. Well, everyone, make sure you tune into TBN on October 30th for the 51st Annual Dove Awards. And Jackie, thank you so much for taking time and talking to us today. Thank you, Jamie. This is great. I appreciate you. Absolutely. We appreciate you for putting this together for the industry. Thank you so much.